everybody, this is Stephen Flagg. I'm here again to introduce another series coming to an end. A hundred episodes, we never ever gone that far. I can probably syndicate the show and be a TV star. Some people say the transmutation table wasn't cheap. Back in the early days, I thought that it was pretty neat. No need for chests or mines or any of that storage stuff, but in the end, it made things dull and boring and not fun enough. So now I'd like to get this giant monkey off my back. Involving bees and gen industry, that stuff is worse than crack. Minecraft is just a game, and you should never ever feel like pulling out your hair and screaming, I just don't get the appeal. Looking for chickens? Well, guess what? I might just have a few that offer resources specifically made just for you. There are so many chickens, you can tell I didn't skip. I took the time to breed them all, so I guess I'm a chicken pimp. And by the way, if you don't mind, I'll just pontificate about all the things in this mob pack I think are really great. The lack of nether and the twisting minds where I get lost, although you see, I feel the bees were kind of like my holocaust. There were so many mods, I don't think I could name them all or understand them, but you know, that's not really my fault. The mod creators use their skills to do the work of gods. I don't think most of them can read or write. Come on, explain your mods! Up in the sky is where the series had its start and end. The chiefs all gave me money I knew I would never spend. A cool mechanic, and I'm sure it would be useful for those guys who have the time to grind. To me, it's just a freaking bore. I'm very proud that through the series I was very nice. In fact, I'm pretty sure I cursed once, maybe twice. It really wasn't hard to do, I just... Pork chop. Draconic Evolution was a mod I heard was great, but every time I try to charge, it just hits 88. I put it all together just the way it told me to. I know I didn't mess it up. Oh, hey, guess I forgot this screw. Mr. Flag. 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 Mr. Flag. Wake up. Huh? What? Where am I? You were telling me about these finales, and you fell asleep. H how did I get here? This this doesn't make any sense. That's why I'm here, Mr. Flag, to help you see things sensibly. But I... Please, lay back on the couch and continue. I believe you were about to tell me about... What was it? Regrowth? Oh, yeah, regrowth. I remember how that ended. Please? <laughs> Come on, we can be friends. You're really creepy. <laughs> You're really creepy too. You know what, I, I, I don't feel so bad about spawning you guys in. I mean, maybe you guys can help me out. I really gotta get out of here. I need to go to another world. I need to go to a planet where I can actually find things. I can go, I can, you know, I can create, a, like, I, I want to make a quarry. I want to be able to find elements. So whatever I have to do, just help me out. Can you send me there? Okay. All right. Well, that sounds great. So what do I have to do? I just have to go... I just bury myself in a hole in the ground? Well, that seems real. You... Okay, okay, whatever you say, whatever you say. I got, I got you, I hear you, I hear you. Alright, that's just any hole in the ground at all? Okay. How's that? I'm gonna need a... I'm gonna need something to cover the hole, though. This... Uh, another star block? Okay. Okay, is something supposed to happen now? Okay. Backwards from five? Okay. Five. Four. Three, two. Oh, this is a little dramatic. So, to escape this world, you summoned two demonic beings who told you to jump into a hole? That's how it happened. 
Okay. So, the next world. Oh, I, I called that one Flux Galaxy. I went to space. You went to space. And I had transporter technology. I see. And how did you escape this world? Well, if I remember correctly... Is that thing still there? Yeah, it is. What the f*** is that thing? It just blacks everything out. It's it's the complete absence of light. Okay, that's just weird. That's just weird. I don't know where that came from. Oh, I really wanted to abandon him out here. What the hell? Okay, wait a minute. We've got what? Anti-block. It's an anti-block? It's just... It's not even there. It just blacks it. Where are these coming from? Is this part of the mod pack? This is just really weird. Okay, I am not liking this at all. I'm not just this. I'm not liking this at all. All right. We've got one of these on Earth and one of these on Mars. We're going to the moon. No, look. Right in front of us. Look, can you can you see that area that's blacked out? See? See, it's, it's almost impossible to see there, but you can see there's no stars? What the f***? Oh, this is creeping me out. This is really creeping me out. Okay, to the asteroids. Alright, I don't see one. I don't see one here. I think we're good. Jesus Christ, there's one right there! What the hell is this? Alright, I'm not liking this at all. What if I get... Oh, where'd my... What the hell? Where'd my... My HUD's gone. What the? Whoa! 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 What the hell? I can. So you're saying you discovered monoliths all over the galaxy, and upon discovering one in an asteroid belt, your HUD disappeared, and you fell inside and encountered a giant fetus? It was a star child. All right, let's move on. Uh, after that, I decided to try out magic. It was my own personal mage quest. But then things got weird. What is that? I don't remember that being there. Let's see if we can get down here safely. Wait, that's metal. That's like an actual metal wall. It's got like ventilation holes in it. This thing looks really, really familiar. I've seen something like this before. I'm sure I have. It's like an uh, an escape pod, uh, like a, like a like a ration. I oh I don't know. My head hurts. I can't. What is this thing? It's okay. Well, that looks like a scanning pod. So if I stand in there, it should scan me, and it should allow me to get inside. But. The only way that it's going to let me inside is if it actually knows who I am. Well, let's try out some scanning. Name T. Kirk, serial number SC 937-0176, CEC, service rank, captain, position, starship command. Kirk! Kirk, that was my name! I was, I was Jim Kirk! I was a member of the, the Federation, I, I had my own starship, I... I was friends with a Vulcan. I... 
Oh, it, my head hurts so badly. It, it should allow me to get inside now, though. Oh my god. Oh my god, it is. It's a Federation escape buoy. It's... We can... We can communicate. We can communicate with back home. Okay, let's see if I can get this calm panel working. Stand by to receive our transmission. That voice sounded familiar. Well, okay, if I just switch these diodes... Activate main viewing screen. Standing by. Oh, oh. This is awkward. James T. Kirk, captain of the Enterprise. Uh, hello. I'm Admiral James T. Kirk. I'm Captain Kirk. Yes, yes, I see that. But as you can see, I'm also James Kirk. I'm Captain Kirk. Yes, yes, I know, I understand that, but as you can see, so am I. You're either me from the past, or me from an alternate dimension. I don't even remember talking to my older self from the past, so you really can't be from the past, but... Wait, wait, is that how temporal mechanics... Do you mind telling me what this is all about, mister? I, I've been wondering that myself. I, I'm just starting to remember. It was, uh, Stardate 9625.3. I, I was supposed to be on the USS Atlantic on my way to Risa, but a spatial anomaly knocked the ship more than, uh, something like 200 light years away from home. And then I had to make an emergency transport, and... You know what? I'm sure that those Romulans had something to do with it. Those damn, green-blooded, dirty Romulans. Leave any bigotry in your quarters. There's no room for it on the bridge. Uh, of course. You're, you're right. I'm sorry. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. I mean, uh, me. Uh, God, this is weird. I don't remember being such a hard-ass. Look, Jim, is there any way to get me out of here? I've been stranded for so long, messing with magic, it just it makes me feel like less of a man. What is a man? But that lofty spirit, that sense of enterprise, that devotion to something that cannot be sensed, cannot be realized, but only dream. Uh, okay. Stand by to receive our transmission. Okay, it's coming through now. Okay, this says there's a quick transport escape route. Is it safe? That's all we know about it. Right, but what if something goes wrong? I mean, it could kill me. Then this will be your big chance to get away from it all. Right, fine. It, it's worth the chance. Thank you, Captain, uh, me. Flag, uh, Kirk, out. You're off. You're off. And it's awake. Wait. Do I know you? A question. Since before your sun burned hot in space, and before your race was born, I have awaited a question. Yes, yes, the Guardian of Forever. We have met before, but you can't be the same Guardian. I am both and neither. I am my own beginning. My own ending. There's no need to answer in riddles. I answer as simply as your level of understanding makes possible. Of course you do. But wait, this is exactly what I needed. A, a way out of here, to, to a new life. Many, Many such journeys are possible. Let me be your gateway. Wait. What do you mean? You can return to your life of technology, or you can choose another. You can choose life. So, you're saying that I can go back to being Jim Kirk, or I can choose another life? Many, Many such, such worlds are open to you. Okay, so if I go back, it'll be to my home world, but I'll be back to jumping from ship to ship, colony to colony, as Starfleet's representative, I've never actually had a real life, a chance to live, to raise a family. You will pass into what was. All that you know will be altered. So I'll forget again? Well, maybe that's for the best. Okay, I'm ready. Step through the gateway and cast your gaze upon your new life. Okay, so this is it. See you later, Magic World. It's time for Stephen Flagg to shine! 
three, two, Okay, so this is a lot to unpack. You discovered you were a captain. Admiral. Uh, Admiral. In something called Starfleet. You had a conversation with your past self, or alternate universe double, who then directed you to the Guardian of Forever, who would help you escape the world? That's, that's right. But if you were supposed to forget... I did forget. Until right now. That's weird. I am curious. The choice you were given, service or family, which did you choose? I chose the one that would make me happy. The one that would make me come alive. And the way things ended there still haunt me. Almost a hundred episodes, so how's it gonna end? At least this pack is lots of fun. It's one I'd recommend. Fossils and archaeology has been the gem so far. We have a load of dinosaurs. I wonder where they are. The dinos have escaped. We all saw this coming. This is your own mistake. Wait, stop the music. The dinos are all free. You know they probably ate your whole family. Wait, what? No, stop, stop the music. They've taken over the whole town. I can't save the town. I can't save the town. I've got to get back. I've got, I've got to save my family. I got, I... Jeez, raptors. I've got to go back. I mean, the, 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 the town's dead as it is. The, the zombie virus is going to take it over. I've got... Holy sh... Ah! What is that ringing? Spock! My god, it's you! How did you get here? I am in command of the Enterprise. Couldn't have timed it better, old friend. I have a situation here. A virus has infected most of the town. Most unpleasant situation, Captain. You don't know the half of it. I suggest you study this. Okay. Wait, according to this, the infection has been passed on to the dinosaurs as well. The whole planet will be infected within months. Affirmative. We can't let the infection spread any further. We have no choice. Annihilation, Jim. Total, complete, absolute annihilation. I hate to say it, but you're right, Spock. There is no alternative. Agreed. Arm the high-yield photon torpedoes and prepare to fire. I cannot obey your order, Captain. Spock, there's no time. I have to find my family. We'll get to safety before the explosion. Most illogical. To you, maybe. Prepare the torpedoes and fire in T-minus five minutes. I'll get my family and get to a safe location. Being a red-blooded human obviously has its disadvantages. Just fire and get a safe distance away. Those torpedoes are experimental. Affirmative. Just don't forget to come back for us. Thanks again, old friend. Flag, uh, Kirk, out. Why is the door open? Why is the door open? I got... What? What? There are sleeping raptors in the... In the... No! 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 My entire family! My whole... My whole family! They're gone! Eaten by raptors! Okay, I've got no time. Spock's gonna be launching those missiles right now. Okay, I'll use the time machine. I, if, if, I, if I set this properly, I'll set it back. I'll go eight months into the past and I should be able to retrieve my family, and we can get out of this town before the zombie virus hits, before before the dinosaurs escape. It, it should all work out. I'll just drop this in here. Okay, and wh what is it saying? Time to set. Eight months backwards. One percent. Two percent. Three percent. Four percent. Oh, it's taking too long! It's taking too long! Those missiles have got to be almost here. Okay, maybe it'll load up faster if I use two. I'll use two time machines, and we'll put the two of them together, and we'll set it for eight months in the past. Okay, let's go! Coordinate set eight, eight hundred years forward. 
activated. Wait, no! 800 years in the future? No, that's that's wrong! No, it's going to... Don't! No! Your family were eaten by dinosaurs that you had bred and had acquired a zombie virus. Then just as the planet exploded, you escaped through the use of two time machines? Yeah, but I went 800 years forward instead of 8 months backward, so I couldn't save my family. I have only one question. All of your children also had children. And all of this happened in less than a year? Well, my daughter Amy was kind of... popular. <sighs> I see. Let's move on. Well, uh... Then next time, it was my personal divergence. I, I met my arch-nemesis, and we sang. Had a so many episodes, and I know how it looks, but we only got a third of the way through the quest book. Everything was going good, things were getting dull, when we were introduced to a guy with horns in the skull. Don't know what his problem is, I've always been nice, but he keeps on messing with me, and he's seeing TV twice. Somewhere in the north, all the power he's amassed, but I can't seem to find him, because his base is set in the past. Does that fact confuse you? Believe me, I would know, because I'm the twisted mind that's been writing the whole show. If Blake could see the future, then I'm sure that he would know that the universe is better off if he were not alive. I'm the hero of this story, and the one that will survive. All of the time I spent building my base You shot a laser, now my stuff is all over the place I'm on a mission, no question what I gotta do I'm gonna bring it on, I'm not afraid of you You think you're righteous, but really you're just ignorant To future problems that you caused that haven't happened yet To save the universe, I know just what I have to do Come on and bring it on, I'm not afraid of you this is it, you've done it now, you've pushed my limits too far. It's time to finish this, at this point I don't care who you are. You say you'll kill me, but you never ever follow through. Early bird gets the worm and now I'm here to end you. You need to die to save the universe and the human race. You don't believe me, I'll take off my mask and show you my face. Now I'm wondering what it is I think you're gonna do when you realize the man under my mask is you. Surprise, surprise! I bet you didn't think- Wait, wait, wait. You're me? We're supposed to be singing. And enough of the singing. How am I supposed to rhyme temporal mechanics anyway? Fair point. You're me. Don't you see? I've already won. How so? You idiot. If you kill me, I'll never become you. Ergo, you won't exist to come back to kill me. I don't follow. Okay, look. I die, and I never become you, so there's no one to come back from the future to kill me, and it's, it's a paradox! Can't can you see? The universe is at stake. Who cares about a pair of ducks? Oh my god, am I really that stupid? Prepare to... What's going on? Ha! Ah, whoa! Deus Ex Machina, you stupid son of a... Blast it! What the? Where? Bongo? Ship? Jade? Ron Felonius? What are you guys doing here? 
We thought you could use some help. How did you... I guess I should introduce you all, but most of my viewers may not know who you all are. We are most of your viewers. Yep, we're all here. This llama is subscribed, but not this llama. I might have seen a video or two. Okay, I have an idea. Jade, there's a bad man down on that planet, and he hates llamas. What? Okay, here's the plan. Okay, what we'll do, I'll run in first, uh, gather up all the eggs. We can just kind of, you know, blast them all down with AoE. Um, I'll use Intimidating Shout to kind of scatter them so we don't have to fight a whole bunch of them at once. Uh, when my shouts are done, I'll need Bongo to come in and drop his shout too. Uh, we're gonna need Divine Intervention on our mages so they can AE. I mean, we'll be in trouble if we take him down quick. Uh, I think this is a pretty good plan. Should be able to pull it off. What do you think, Ron? Can you give me a number? Crunch real quick. Uh, yeah, um, give me a sec. I'm coming up with 32.33, uh, repeating of course, percentage of survival. Now that's a lot better than we usually do. Uh, alright. Y you guys think we're ready? <laughs> Is he gonna fire a missile? Stick to the plan, chums. Well, it looks like you were right. There was no way I could have killed you. Oh, you absolutely could have killed me. I was stalling. What? If I had believed that your killing me would result in you no longer existing, it would have shown that fate is the predominant factor in the universe, meaning none of your choices would matter. Fate and destiny would be in charge of all things. And that's bullshit, man. I carved my own path in life. It hasn't been preordained. Uh, I'm dying here, so if this is going to be much longer, would you mind if I sat down? I'm, I'm done, sorry. Here. Take this. W w what is it? My personal transporter. It has one good charge left in it. Use it to go back to the future, or anywhere else you might want to go. This? <laughs> oh, you may have defeated me here. But I've also accomplished my mission. <laughs> Enjoy your time in hell, Stephen Flagg. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and die now. An evil version of you from the future builds a secret base in the past, destroys your home with a giant laser, and in his dying breath he gives you a teleport ring with one charge. Yeah, but it was all a trick. He sent me to a place that I hate the most. The Nether. The what? But then I found out nothing was real. No insight is. Anyhow, let's just get to this, guys, because I, I just want to get out of here. I just want to get out of here. We're, we're, we are getting the F out of Dodge, guys. I am so tired of the Nether. I haven't seen Not Barry in a while. I wonder where he is. Not Barry! I'm leaving! You want to come say goodbye? Are we ready for this, guys? Oh, I'm excited. I am so excited! Okay, let's do this. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, so I need to uh, press to activate. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh God! Yeah, Jesus! Well, I, I, I guess it's ready to go. Oh, that was scary. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh, this tickles. Oh, something's happening. Something's going on. Oh. Uh, 
Where am I? Why is the overworld so white? Have you ever played a game, Flag, that you were so sure was real? What if you were unable to stop playing that game? How would you know the difference between the game and the real world? Interpret wait, wait are, are we doing the Matrix this time? Oh my god, that's freaking awesome! Uh, uh are, 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 are we gonna do the, uh, I know Kung Fu bit? Uh, no. Oh, uh, ooh, 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 the Burly Brawl! Uh, am, am I gonna fight a whole bunch of rogue programs in a park? No. Uh, how about the highway scene? Do you see a car? No, I... Oh my god, we're just doing the talking stuff, aren't we? Yep, unplug me! God, what? Where? Where am I? Well, what is this? Oh my God! It's it's real. Oh my God! It's real. Plug me back in. Plug me back in. Plug me back in! Oh! Oh my God! Is this the jump program? This is the... Oh, wow. That's a long way down. But I can do this. I know I can do this. Nobody ever makes the jump the first time. Hey, look. I've seen The Matrix like 200 times. I'm pretty damn sure I can do this. Just leave me be. Okay, Flag. Let's do this. One. Two. Cowabunga! Clarkson! <laughs> that's it! I did it! Okay, that's it. I've, I've mastered this whole Matrix thing. Okay, uh, you want to just send me to the guy in charge so we can get this over with? Thank you! Not Barry. Y you're the guy in charge? I am the architect. I created the Matrix. I've been waiting for you. You have many questions, and although the process has altered your consciousness, you remain irrevocably human. Ergo, some of my answers you will understand, and some of them you will not. Concordantly, while your first question may be the most pertinent, you may or may not realize it is also irrelevant. Uh, why am I here? Your life is the sum of a remainder of an unbalanced equation inherent to the programming of the Matrix. Uh, others? W what others? How many? The Matrix is older than you know. I prefer counting from the emergence of one integral anomaly to the emergence of the next, in which case this is the eighth version. Eighth version? Wait, wait, this is the eighth season of Flagcraft? I've, I've been in the Matrix this whole time and I didn't know it? Precise, which brings us, at last, to the moment of truth, wherein the fundamental flaw is ultimately expressed, and the anomaly revealed as both the beginning and end. There are two doors. The door to your right leads to a new mod pack, and a chance at salvation. The door to your left leads back to- what? wait what are you doing? I'm uh, taking the door on the right. But I've got more unintelligible things to say to you. Wait! wait. What? Can I... Can I come with you? What? Y oh, you want to come with me? I've... I've been alone here for a long time. Um... Yeah? I guess so. You can come with me. Oh, thank you. Already I can feel the chain reaction. The chemical precursors that signal the onset of emotion designed specifically to overwhelm logic and reason, an emotion that is already blinding me from- He already left, didn't he? Motherfuck! The big question here is, why didn't you call it the Mind Tricks? Oh, hey, that's pretty good. I wish I'd thought of that. You did. What? M Mr. Flag, I have to ask you, don't you see how ridiculous this all sounds? I believe you've lost all sense of reality. It... Look, it all happened. I remember it. And that's what worries me, Mr. Flag. 
I'm sorry, but I can't grant you the escape you desire. Until you have a grasp on reality again, I'm recommending you return to the asylum for further treatment. Wait, what? Security, would you please come to my office? Look, I'm not crazy. This all happened. We'll determine that together over the next few years. Years? Screw that! Miss, Mr. Flag, please, get down from there. No, no, I'd rather jump than live the rest of my life in an asylum. And, and if I am crazy, why does it matter? Mr. Flag, we're on the 120th floor. Then I guess it's time for another unnecessary effect shot. Later! I knew it! I, I knew it wasn't real! Uh, now, where am I? Wait! Is this the Enterprise? That's suspiciously convenient, but it's made out of rubber. What kind of place is this? I've got to get to the bridge. Perfect! The electronics are real! And I'm a master of transporter technology. Now, if I just put this here, and I move this here, set the quantum flux reactors into the negative, put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up, and voila! A quantum transport! It'll likely drain the entire warp core of the ship, but it should transport me to a random M-class planet anywhere in the universe. <sighs> okay, Flag, this is it. Three, two... Thank <laughs> you. 